Hello everyone, welcome again to my model railway world. This is the draw challenge layout uh, that you are all familiar with. As you probably are aware, this layout has had to take a little bit of a back seat lately because uh, my Pure Spring Watercrest layout is going to the National Narrow Gauge Convention here in Minneapolis in September. So I'm sprucing that layout up. Um, so this one has to take a bit of a back seat, but some track arrived from uh, narrow gauge trains in the uh, ngtrains.com EDM models in the uh, in the UK recently, and uh, it was raining outside this morning, so I fancied messing around with the track and uh, seeing how much how much track I could use and. If my interesting ideas for the layout would actually work. So we'll set the train running and I'll see if I can describe what's going on. So we have a lovely little delicate little turnout there that's only two and a half inches long. Uh, the train seems to run over it fairly easily so that's that's good and it uh, runs nice and smoothly so and uh, it's a beautiful little beautiful little turnout a little bit um, delicate if you're too heavy-handed with uh, changing changing the direction of the point but uh, be careful with it should be fine so so I messed around with the track that I had and as you can see I only overordered by three parts so that's pretty good and I've created something that I'm visually happy with I've got this very nice serpentine section here which looks pretty good I think so I'm uh, quite happy with that as you, as you watch the uh, Watch the train crawl around the corner and navigate this serpentine section. I think you'll agree this is going to be quite an interesting uh, visual feature. If you get a uh, bogey coach in there winding its way along there, that will look pretty neat. What I'm thinking here, on this straight section here, I'll pro probably have a small station with a shelter and a short platform. So, other things I'm working on, I mean, as you know, I like to throw buildings and stuff on there just to get a visual idea. So I'm throwing in this good old tin tab, Will's Tin Tabernacle there. Maybe that'll fit there quite nicely, actually. Maybe. And then I'm wondering if perhaps down here I can put some arrange arrange some factory buildings there like that so this siding can actually uh, it can go off stage into a fiddle stick or some kind of fiddle yard arrangement there where I can change trains out so that would be pretty cool I think so then we'll throw some vehicles on just to get an idea and you know I'm really quite quite pleased quite happy with the way things look so uh, this might be the way it'll stay not entirely sure I don't know but I mean it looks good looks fun looks entertaining so I think this is probably the way the form it's going to take and we'll just back that in there we'll change the hand of the turnout and we will back back the train into what will be the some kind of works perhaps or and the exit to the fiddle yard so yeah it's looking good i don't know when i'll get to work on it next because of the uh getting the um, Pure Spring Watercrest ready for the narrow gauge show, but uh, hopefully the two can work side by side. I don't have a great deal of stuff to do for the um, for Pure Spring Watercrest. In fact, I'm probably making myself more work as the thing goes on, but uh, we, will, uh, we will chat again in the near future when I've decided what I'm doing and deciding what's gonna happen. So we'll talk to you again soon. Cheers.